So for our next experiment with range two, the do's and the don'ts, we're gonna scan a very feature rich object like this cactus here, but make the mistake of clicking marker tracking within the software. Let's see what happens. This is an easy fix, but believe me, it happens. So I'm just gonna click it over to marker tracking, using marker tracking in the software to clan, scan a feature rich object. What are the results? You find out pretty fast. And start. Need more markers. It doesn't work. <laughs> so that was easy. But now let's try it actually when using feature mode. Scan settings. Okay, let's see how that turns out. Complete, edit it. So yeah, as it turned out, it turned out pretty good, honestly. The detail is nice. There's a few holes in the cactus. Nothing though that fill holes wouldn't fix on the mesh setting, but I just didn't do that this time. So again, simple fix. Just make sure when you're scanning a very feature rich object to use the proper feature tracking. If you try to do a feature rich object using marker mode, it's not going to work. Okay. So again, the next thing we want to bring out, just like what we just tried doing is scanning a feature rich object like this cactus with marker mode. Vice versa, now we're gonna do an object in feature mode, but really is very spherical and should be used as marker mode. So let's see what happens. Right now, feature tracking is selected and we're gonna try to scan this rim. Can it be done? Are there any problems with it? Do's or don'ts of range two. This is what happens. So because I can't track a boundary, it's just spinning out of control. So right away, that's a do not, my friends. <laughs> do not scan an object like this that is spherical. Use the marker dot. So now let's redo it and see what happens. I'm gonna click marker tracking. And see how it turns out. Excellent. And let's pause that and flip it over so we can capture the other side of the rim. And just make sure when you start, because this bottom part has not been scanned yet, start from an area that you've already processed some point clouds. So the side, it should, shouldn't have a problem at all tracking it. Yeah, picked it up right away. Excellent. All right, let's process this. Yeah, so pretty good. We just have some noise here that we can just knock out in isolation. A few holes that need to be filled out, filled in. Yeah, 
yeah, so there we go. There is our rim, honestly, pretty nice. So again, spherical object, do's and don'ts. Don't try to scan this in feature tracking, feature mode, because it does. it's not rich in features, as simple as that. It's spherical, it's very smooth, doesn't have a, much, a bunch of texture to it. Use marker mode and you'll get a great result, just like what we see right here. Okay, for our next example of do's and don'ts with range two, this table, for instance, if you wanna scan this, you could make the mistake of thinking that you can scan it with feature mode. That's not possible. Just like previously, you need marker dots just for that rim, it's a spherical object. This is not spherical, but it's very smooth and it doesn't have any features to it. So notice what happens. If I wanna capture this, table in feature mode. Not enough point clouds captured. Can't capture it at all. Yeah, it's not seeing anything. So that is the problem. No feature to it whatsoever. It's too smooth, too flat. Let's put some marker dots on the table and then switch the software over to marker mode and then see if we can capture this table. Okay, so now we've put the markers, pasted them down on the table because before we tried scanning and it just went off into affinity because this is a featureless object being the table. So now click it, have, make sure it's on marker mode, marker tracking. Also something to keep in mind, base removal. Possibly that could be clicked. That's right below where you have scanning settings, accuracy, tracking mode, object type, and it's color scan and then it says base removal. If you have that clicked, that could be an issue too because you are scanning the base. So just make sure that is unclicked. Let's try this out. So yeah, no issues running off into the infinity at all. Doing a nice job with it. So that's all you have to do for that. Make sure on an object like a table, totally smooth, not much feature to it. Make sure you put down the, mark the marker dots. So for the last thing I wanna mention about when to use marker tracking or feature tracking, you have a long object like this sword here. It has okay features on it, but maybe not the best. So you think that you can just use feature tracking, put it on the table and try scanning it. You're gonna find that that doesn't work the best. So in that situation, pull out your magic mat, open it up, put it on the table, and then put the sword on top of there. But just make sure in scan settings, you switch it over to marker mode. You'll find with using marker mode and the magic mat underneath a narrow object, long and narrow object like this sword, you're gonna have much better results and you're gonna pick up the details that you want in the sword. <laughs>